bigoted tongue. Have you heard the wildebeest, young lady? They're still very far away for them to try and hunt them right now. And maybe they walk across the road towards us. They could also just end up cutting straight towards the sand river. Let's see. I think he wants to mate, though. Yeah, this girl's coming into Estrus. She's going, please, dear. Please. Sebastian, we're never going home. We're just gonna push the car around if we run out of fuel. We're staying on the side of the river for the rest of my life. I'm no one sending me home to South Africa. I'm just gonna camp here. That was crazy. There's another lioness coming in to help this girl. See, she's very concerned. And that's what the lionesses will do, is they will stand together when a male gives them a bit of trouble and they'll put their foot down. Now, of course, all the wildebeest and every other animal within an eight kilometer radius knows that they're here. But she's definitely coming into estrus. I don't think she's quite ready to be mated with yet, but obviously her hormones are all starting to change now and are getting this male quite excited. And we know what these boys can be like. And you know how sometimes they just don't take no for an answer. And it can be a very tough life for a lioness, uh, just as tough as what it is for the boys out here. If she decides that she doesn't want to mate with them and she puts up too much of a fight for too long, he might end up trying to kill her because there's no point having her around if, he, if she does not want to bear his offspring. It's very, very tough. But that's why it's important that the lionesses also try and stay together because one, one male lion versus three lionesses, he's going to get himself into a bit of trouble. He's probably going to get a bit of a hiding from them. Shame, girl. She's now covered in dirt. Sorry that you had to go through that, but you showed him. So well done for standing your ground. But very submissive, though, making sure she stays flat on the ground. I think she's saying, I don't want to fight, but I also don't want to mate. Just leave me alone. I'm not ready. She does not look impressed. How cool was that? I don't know about you, but the whole vehicle was rumbling like like you have no idea they had to hold on to the steering wheel it was going to vibrate out the car there was um there was so much vocalization going now what he's doing he's just walking around he's sort of scent marking in this area but the wildebeest have changed direction so they're not going to come here they've obviously heard all this commotion now he's phlegm and grimacing so one of the lionesses must have urinated over there oh you're an older boy no, he must be maybe closer to 10 years old now seeing his teeth. Look how messed up they are. Mm, I'm going to say maybe he's about 9 or 10 years old, this fella. Now, Olga, you're wondering if it's true if their mane gets darker during the mating period. I think I heard that correctly. If that was so, no, it doesn't. Um, so their manes get darker with age, not just when they are mating with females. Uh, so they have, they aren't able to change that coloration. And not all male lions will have dark manes either. It's just got to do with genetics. The most famous lions with the biggest and the darkest of black manes are the Kalahari uh, lions. They've got exceptionally incredible black mane. But he's got a lovely, lovely mane as well. Yeah, he's he's been around this fella. 
I wonder who he is. His teeth are yellow, they're broken. He's obviously had many battles with not only other lions, but probably buffalo and all sorts of other prey. But what a beautiful boy. I'm sure those teeth have stories to tell. Very, very, very nice. And I'm just starting to hear the soft hum of the gnus.